good evening. It is 5.35. Peter is wrapping up his work day. Went a little bit later than expected. It's the first of the month and Monday. Um, but we are going to eat some dinner and go from there. We are eating some squash and kale butter lemon pepper pasta I just whipped up and a spinach kale strawberry summer salad. It's 8 o'clock and I'm just finishing work. It was not a good day. But he makes things perfect. Yeah. And she makes things perfect. He's been talking up a storm. Oh, really? What should we do now? Really? She's been extra needy today. Work was bad. It was just a very busy day. Like I think Sarah mentioned it in the beginning, like it's a Monday and I always have extra reports on a Monday and it's the first business day of the month and I always have extra b reports on the first business day of the month. And it's the first business day of the month reporting in the first 2021 because if it's all like month end stuff, it's reporting on January because then you've got to update all of your reference tables and numbers and numbers and numbers and then find hunt. I can't do it anymore. But it's eight o'clock. I didn't wake up and run because I overslept. It's already 8 o'clock. Disney World shut down because it shuts down when the sun is at the 2 p.m. mark. So we're staying home. Sarah said something about going to get Frappuccinos. That seems wild to me because we haven't had Frappuccinos in literal years. But I'm not kind of against it. I have a lighter run today, so it wouldn't like it would ruin that. Let's see where the night goes. 12 seconds later. This is what this Monday looks like. <laughs> I'm going out in public, all like this. <laughs> How many qualms do I have about it? Zero. <laughs> we got Starbucks Frappuccinos. Who are we? I don't know. Uh, when was the last time we got Starbucks Frappuccinos? Actually, we I got Starbucks like Frappuccinos. Um... <laughs> you, got a, you got a gift card for your birthday. <laughs> And I had a Frappuccino, you just got coffee. Yeah, but I haven't had a Frappuccino in since pre-vegan days. Wow. So... And then we're gonna pack, right? Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna pack, we're gonna pack in. Here, Eve, use this thing. Evie thinks she's going. Bye. Peace, not more. Here we go, it's true. I went out in public like this, but it's a Monday and it's 8.30, so it is what it is. Butter for some. Scram cram cranberry. <laughs> cranberry scone. And our drinks are about to come up. I kind of miss being in Starbucks. We don't we haven't really gone to Starbucks since living here. It's even pre-vegan, but wait until Chicago. The coffee shops are off the hook. It's super windy and it's 44 degrees. But well, look at these beauties. Two venti frappuccinos. I got a peppermint mocha. Sarah got a local cookie crumble, but Sarah took my advice and we got the avocado shots of a espresso on it. I'll explain that when it's not so windy and I'm back home. I also, right before I left, put on the Dad's like documentary, which is really good on Apple TV Plus. If you have it, watch it. Affogato. What is affogato frappuccino? This is back. I got. I gotta show you my face. So there was once a time in uh, in my prime. I think that's a song. Mm -hmm. When I worked at the Disney store at a mall and I lived the most basic, classic mall employee life, I would sneak over my brick and get Crunchup Supremes from Taco Bell. My manager was besties with the Wetzel's Pretzels manager, so our staff would get hooked up with pretzel dogs and pretzels all the time. And there was, um, not an Auntie Anne's, Gloria, Gloria Jean. Jeans. And I would go there, and that's where I learned to get Frappuccinos with a, sh a shot affogato style, which basically just means after it's blended. So rather than having an, a shot of espresso added during the blending, which would just look like a normal frappuccino, they make the frappuccino and they pour a hot shot of espresso over it. And then what it does is it melts in and infuses with a delicious frappuccino. Also makes it more liquidy than, than 
frozen, and you really f taste the mocha espressoiness to it. Really good. It's a already made option that you can easily click for Starbucks apps if you are part of that cult. You're my miracle angel boy. You're my miracle angel. <gasps> Can I see you smile? No. Oh gosh. Alright, I think I'm gonna try to tackle getting the curtains down potentially. I don't wanna be too loud though. So I actually might wait. I can take them down, I just can leave the posts in until tomorrow. And begin disassembling this bed. I think I'm gonna start because it's too big to get through doorways, so this thing at least partially has to get taken apart. Alright, so I went with the curtains because I couldn't take that apart because it, it would be too loud. So I'm packing up soft goods. And also, this got me a little sad. Took off James's bookshelf. And we're watching AOC on Instagram talk about the story of the insurrection. Her experience? Yeah, her personal experience. Kind of two bittersweet things that we're packing up tonight. The table and chair we had at the last apartment outside I actually got for Sarah for a birthday present years ago. But we've just never had the right kind of balcony. And our new apartment doesn't have it and we're hoping to be there for a long time. So we're donating it. Well, I'm putting it down by the dumpster and I know one of our neighbors are going to pick it up. I am still here. I have been with this little baby. Oh, he's awake. He is awake. He was just snoozing. Um, I think he's doing some growing because he has been doing lots of sleeping, which is great, but he's been doing a lot of sleeping. Um, look at this wall. Shelves are gone. Just those two big things. Oh my goodness. But this will be, this will be really great and makes as the actual moving day nears closer, a lot less overwhelming. But I am about to hop on my desktop, which I haven't touched in so long. Um, we actually bought this when we were like getting more serious with the Fab Five 207 and um, we vlogged our 2016 trip. So it has a lot of files on it, all my freelance work. Um, what was that? <laughs> we silly willy. Um, I'm going to go through it, uh, make sure that I have everything that I actually need from it. Um, and then we're gonna get rid of it, which is crazy, but we got the laptop now. Um, and we no longer, I don't know, maybe we'll like, do you think we'll, we'll use it for anything? Like the hard drive, it's, I'm used to like us having laptops where you can take the hard drive out and like use them as a little external hard drive. I guess but, get some real mad scientist missed to take the hard drive out of that iMac. Yeah, it, it's day is done. So that's, that's my next task. And Eve's next task is to sit here and be my assistant. She's always been my girl. Because ever since I've worked from home, she's been there. Uh, always a big three-month-old kid. Oh, I love her so much. You make me so happy after a bad work day. Oh, don't look at the camera. Oh, no. Maybe a camera shy. Oh, really? Wow. Really? I love you. I know we have so much fun all the time. Yeah. It's going to be cold in Chicago. <laughs> but we'll get you a warm jacket, okay? Whoa. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, gosh. You are getting to be a big kid. Oh, really? And you're grabbing your feet and you're rolling. Really? You said, don't eat my toes. But they're delicious. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah? 
Today was a rest day for my run. It's 11.36. We didn't go out today, so that means the Brookharts have fuel to burn. Plus, I had that frappuccino. I just decided that we're going to tear apart this corner and reorganize our bin so that we can be packing and have a functional life at the same time. I, I, I actually like a little boy from Polar Express. Um, I keep on like... I don't know. I'm like in the reality here, and then like I'm like we're moving across the country. Like I literally, I don't know when is it gonna click. I don't know. After sitting in the same spot for how many hours have I been sitting? You've been there for like four hours. <laughs> but I've been productive from this spot, but it's just like a really weird feeling. It's also one in the morning, and Sarah and I are not a lick of tired, probably because of those giant frappuccinos with shots of espresso. I'm also not going out. But and there's also no regrets. No, not at all. You guys know we can run off of like three hours of sleep. But look at this. This is crazy. Makes my mind feel, I've been stressing that we didn't get a 26 footer and we got a 20 footer, which I know is a ridiculous as you hear that probably, but I'm just stressed that, I'm always stressed that we need all the space. But this is like a lot of our stuff. Cause when you go this way, this room is now less of a storage unit. Cause we're still using it like that's where I work. Here's where James plays. Here's where James plays. Here's where he takes his baths. But now look at this closet. Closet is like, just got some tchotchkes left over. We gotta grab some cardboard boxes. Like one cardboard box will fit all that. But yeah, I took, there's like the bookshelves and the shelves over there. But it's like, I explained it by like this. Like we're getting really close to the point where we can't pack anything else up until like that final week stuff. Like do we want to pack all the, the pot, like the, the mugs and cups away except for like one mug and one cup each like you no know, we have three four weeks left here like it's just not feasible to like enjoy the like enjoy life in a kitchen or a bedroom if like we have only five sets of clothes and five like sets of like one pot one pan you know so like we're getting to a point we're gonna get pick up some carver boxes soon to get rid of some more of the like the loose stuff but really after that it's like we don't have to do any more packing until like that final week where it's like, okay, now let's pack up the bathrooms. Now let's live off of one pot and one pan for three days. So that's wild. Eve, it's 2.30 in the morning. Are you ready for bed yet? This poor sweet pup. She's been zonked for hours. But it's time to go to bed. I just want to point out now that the uh, curtains are down, this is this with the lights off and the street lights coming in, this makes it feel like it was the room that Sarah and I lived in the first year that we lived here. This is, at nighttime, this is what it looks like. Like, it's flashing me back to then. All right, so, it's the first. Sarah didn't do this calendar yet, but she, she said she's gonna do it tomorrow. The Big Message by L.R. Nost. Life is amazing, and then it's awful, and then it's amazing again. And in between the amazing and the awful, it's ordinary and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing, Hold on through all the awful, and relax and exhale through the ordinary. That's just living, heartbreaking. That's just living, heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life, and it's breath, breathtakingly beautiful. That's like the long form version of our our favorite scene from About Time. The Daily Message is by Lao Tzu. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So if you've never seen About Time, which if you've been watching our vlog, hopefully you have because we're obsessed with it. Beavers, come on. Oh, she's such a sleepy puppy. Um, the big thing there is to live your ordinarily extra or your extraordinarily ordinarily life, and to find all the the peace and love and excitement in, in the everyday, which is like what the Brooker Project's about. It's good to be home. It's okay to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>